Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us. And symbolism. And on my channel, we bring all of this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, today is September 9th, 2014. And they have even been known to hide many things in these Google Doodles. We have been breaking these down for the last few years. And many times they show the symbolism of the end of the age coming. Well, this one here for September 9th is of Leo Tolstoy's 186th birthday. And it's an interactive Google Doodle meaning it's going to show several different things. Now, Leo Tolstoy is known as a writer and a philosopher and a political thinker, and he's from Russia. Nearly all of his stories are old Russian pieces and things going on. Now, Russia in the Bible is part of a beast that rises out of the sea to terrorize the world for a while. And we're going to map this out as we go through this Google Doodle. One of the things you have to always remember about the Bible is that all of humanity has, well, unfortunately, it's all been dumbed down. In other words, just like here in Revelation 13, there's a beast out of the sea, and there's a beast out of the earth. If you go and talk to nearly all preachers, nine out of ten of them will make and show that these are all the same thing. See a beast out of the sea and a beast out of the earth. This is a common thing done in the Bible where everybody just blends everything together. These are two separate things. The beast out of the sea involves Russia and they will only be around for forty and two months to terrorize the world and then they're gone. They're going to fall. Russia will fall and then a new beast out of the earth will rise and it will continue on even doing the mark of the beast so you can see right here and you have to always remember these things that everybody has blended all of this together and every time you talk to any Christians anywhere in the world they're going to think that all of this is just one thing through here they will even think that this is the Antichrist there is not one single word of the word Antichrist anywhere in here in any of these 22 chapters of the book of Revelation. Not a single one. In reality, this could be the Antichrist. In reality, this could be the Antichrist. But again, humanity has blended them all together. You see how we all, I mean, it's already three minutes into my video, and these basic stumbling blocks are in the way of everybody on the earth knowing the truth they know the lies they don't know the truth so this is the beast out of the sea rising right here let's show this all through here this will be shown through this google doodle first off it starts off it shows a little dancing now we show one of his biggest novels war and peace you see how this is mostly blue through here with the moon this represents in the bible besides the war and peace that we're nearing the time of war it's showing that we're nearing this time in the Bible of Revelation 12. See the woman standing on the moon. People don't know these simple things. Always remember this. That not one or two Christians, I mean like 99% of them, they don't know these simple things. None of them. Zero. They don't even know about this woman over here. They have no idea who she is. So this is her right here. Ready to give birth to the next age is what this is about. This has been shown over and over again, symbolism all over, in this cryptic video called I Pet Goat 2 showing Obama betraying the USA in another 911 event. This is the woman standing on the moon, ready to give birth. She takes all of these people in blue and they ascend, and then she drops this apple for the great deception. And in the Bible, it's the time of the red coming. The blue represents Jacob, like the USA. The USA was the blue coats, and we fought the red coats, Britain and all those guys rising back up. They are known as Edom in the Bible. 
the hunters, the time of Edom. And this is the end of this time of this woman. The time of grace and mercy is over. The woman is standing by the moon, ready to give birth, and we leave right there. We go through this door. See this open door over here? And then the red will rise up. This looks like a comet or even a meteor, a stone ready to fall. Just as in the, in the Bible, when it talks of the angel throwing a great millstone into the sea, and then Babylon falls. In the Bible, it says Babylon falls twice. Babylon is two different places in the Bible. The Vatican is considered to be Babylon. It is considered to actually be Mystery Babylon. And then the USA is called the Daughter of Babylon, just like the military might for the Vatican. Both of them get hit. The USA and the Vatican get hit in a crippling strike, even like Sodom and Gomorrah. This could be from a nuke to a meteor to an asteroid, a stone, or even a comet going by. But this signaling event happens. The woman is ready to give birth. The time of the blue is over. We are going to ascension. And then this comes, just like with Sodom and Gomorrah when they were destroyed and Lot was taken out. And now should be the time of the red. And here comes the red. Anna Karina coming out of the red door. See her coming right out of here, out of the red? She, in this story, she leads a tragic life. She's married to somebody who's in basic royalty, and she falls for a cavalry man. She ends up actually killing herself in the end. Russia will only have 40 and 2 months. If I did the drawing of this, you would see on her hat actually a dragon coming. She has a dragon on her head. She represents the dragon coming through the door. The blue goes through the door. We go to ascension and the red comes through to here. Now the red is here. This has been shown over and over again. I mean, this is done in the Bible repetitively. The people, there's a group of people on the earth that are called rapture haters. They hate the idea of that Christians might be taken away, swept away, even if it's just like a nuclear event to take us all out of here to ascension. They hate it. They're called rapture haters. Well, this same thing is replayed in the Old Testament. First off, you have right here that when Russia rises up, they're going to have, see here, 40 and 2 months, and then they will fall. Russia, China, North Korea, all these groups are going to fall. And then this beast comes out of the earth, right here. That's the same thing we're showing in here. They're ready for their 40 and 2 months with the dragon, and then they will fall. So they're getting their 40 and 2 months in the red. I wanted to show right here. This is replayed in 2 Kings 2. There was two people, Elijah and Elisha, both as prophets. Prophets. Elijah represents the rapture. And it came to pass as they still went on and talked that behold, this is how we go up in a rapture. I keep telling everybody, it's fire. There appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. That is the same symbolism of the rapture. And then Elisha was left here, and he took over. And down here, he let loose the bears on the 23 again. See the number 23? We've seen this number an awful lot for terrible things to come upon the earth. But they mocked him because of his bald head. And then he went out, and he, and he turned back and looked on them and cursed them in the name of the Lord. And there came forth two she bears out of the wood and tear forty and two children of them. See here, we have the rapture, and then the bear will go forty and two months, and then the next beast will rise out of the earth, exactly as in here, when they have their forty and two months through here. Exactly as in Revelation 13, the beast out of the sea has forty and two months, the bear rising up. 
the time of the red. See here? Anna Karina comes with the dragon on her head. Russia rises up. Well, what happens after 40 and 2 months? They're dead. They get destroyed. The Death of Ivan. This is a book showing about this man's death, but do you see how the story just went? At the end of this, Russia falls. Russia is done after 40 and 2 months because the next beast rises. And then, see how they're all going to the funeral? Ivan's dead, Russia's done, and this is the end right here. All of the earth is a new set of trees, and everything's been redone and rebirthed. It's shown right here on this glyph of Akhenaten. Moses was taken out from underneath the burdens of Egypt and set free. All of these Egyptian things are supposed to map out the end days. It's all basically by scripture. The burden of Egypt that is on top of all of us. Here comes this individual with the V for the fifth age. He goes through Obama, who will do just as Judas did and betray the USA and hand us over. This large nuclear event. See this big nuke? See this stone coming, just as we showed in the Google Doodle? And then the red bull, the red horse of the apocalypse, is off and running. The USA gets hit by a crippling strike. Here's that red apple we sh showed in that one scene with the woman in blue leaving. And then the red rising up. Here is the flaming phoenix, your flaming chariot, exactly as Elisha had by these two domes going up. And then Russia, this bear, rises up for 40 and 2 months, exactly as in Scripture. Like I say, the rapture haters keep saying that the rapture is not even in the Bible. It's all the way back to the Old Testament in 2 Kings, right here when Elijah is caught away. Again, it's all the way in Revelation 3, when only one of the seven churches is raptured. Remember that. Only one church out of all of these seven is told, not even told to repent. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell on the earth. Jesus tells all of these other churches that they must go to the great tribulation, literally, and that they have to be tested. So you, if you're a Christian, just realize that not all Christians are actually raptured. Not all Christians get a flaming chariot to ascend. And again, remember that most preachers and Christians have no idea of any of this. They have not even studied to page 3 of the book of Revelation. They have no idea that no matter what name these churches are, they represent angels. So your church is associated with one of these seven churches. Even if you don't go to church but believe in Jesus Christ, you are associated with one of these churches. There are only seven angels in Jesus' right hand. There are only these seven spirits of these seven churches. Even if your church is called God's church, you are associated with one of these. This one is the Catholic Church, the Church of Thyatira, and they are going to be treated horribly. It's very terrible. 23 again, and I will kill her children with death, and all the churches shall know that I am he which searches the reins and hearts. Jesus is mad that the Catholic Church thinks that they run everything. See right here, and I gave her space to repent. This is not even in, the word repent is not even in the Church of Philadelphia's thing. They believe in Jesus Christ's mercy and grace. But all of this right here. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation. 1.2 billion Catholics go to the great tribulation. They don't get a flaming chariot. So that's what this is. Here's Tolstoy. Here comes the time of the, the woman with the moon under her feet, ready to give birth. The comet or something's coming. The time of the red. See the time of the red? They're 40 and 2 months. And then Russia will fall. Confess with your mouth, the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart, God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. Then all these new trees will be here. The new earth will be made. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah. The time of Jacob's trouble is coming.